This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The Cordell Bank and Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuaries have expanded, essentially doubling their size. The sanctuaries lie just outside of the Golden Gate and stretch from Point Arena to the north to Half Moon Bay to the south. The upwelling water originates offshore Point Arena and it's deep water that's brought to the surface. And when the wind pushes it up against Point Arena, it hits that land mass and gets pushed south into the sanctuaries. This according to Maria Brown, who's the superintendent of the Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuary. She also said that this water is full of nutrients. So sun can penetrate through the water and it causes this amazing plankton bloom, which then causes zooplankton, which are like the little insects of the ocean to bloom, which feeds the fish, the whales, the sharks the seabirds, the seals, and the sea lions. So it's a big basket of food. And Maria says that the immediate impact of this expansion is protection of the habitat for the extraordinary variety of species who inhabit or pass through the sanctuaries. It does prohibit the development of oil and gas along the coastline. So we're not going to be seeing oil derricks out there. You're not going to see drilling. And we're not going to hopefully see any oil spills either. That's going to be an immediate thing that we will see right away. Maria says that the sanctuaries have worked effectively with other agencies to enable wildlife to recover. And then in the future, what a sanctuary can bring and what it's brought to the previous sanctuary is that we've seen species rebound because the waters have been protected, because there is a steward looking after the health. Elephant seals have rebounded in the sanctuary. Northern fur seals have come back. We're seeing bird species come back. I asked Maria if there are any changes to the sanctuaries that fishermen or other users may notice. Fishing is still allowed. People can commercially fish, recreational fish. It doesn't affect their ability to fish. However, it's going to protect those waters. So the water is going to remain clean, productive. So there should be more fish out there, hopefully, in the future. And while we are all encouraged to go out into the sanctuaries, there are state and federal restrictions on wildlife disturbance in or out of the sanctuaries. So we're asked to keep a safe distance from the wildlife so they can feed and rest in peace. I think we're very fortunate to have been able to protect this area. And she says the Cordell Bank and Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuaries, taken together, is probably one of the most productive areas of the ocean in the entire world. And we're so lucky to live right next door to it. My thanks to Maria Brown. And here's your Thank You Ocean Everyday Action. You're encouraged to help protect the Cordell Bank and Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuaries. You can volunteer to survey beaches, help in their visitor centers, join field adventures, volunteer for their sanctuary advisory councils. To learn more, visit us online at thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.